create the uh, image of the bird, that's going to be the easiest uh, option. So this has all just been a Pathfinder place put together. Okay. And uh, see if I can. So this uh, particular piece here, if you have these images, so I'll just take it, take one of them, it's just a pen tool, drag it down, just hold the shift key, command D to make this array of horizontal pieces there. Just put one up at the top here. And take the pen tool again and just create a shape that may have, I'll extend it off the bottom, curve it up to the top. And just Option and Command-D this across, and you'll see that they're all somewhat uneven, which is okay. I can reach down at the bottom and just grab an array of them and just touch them up to the top. So a slight, slight curve to it. Shouldn't matter too much. So this <coughs> image I can lock if I want to, just kind of way of working so I can select all of these parts of this netting and give it a little bit of a different selection there and make the top one just a little thicker so it encompasses all of those pieces there and that'll bring that section together <coughs> and then slowly um, building up the background here's the rectangle part so I can create just the shape of it Create the part that's going to be in the foreground, right down to here. I'm using the smart guides to help me. Take the pen tool. This is just creating the background there. I'm just coming down to the outer edge. So just so you can see it, that that's the <coughs> selection for here. I'll do the circular part. The sun here. So now I have that. So I have all the parts and pieces, and I can give them colors just so you can see what's happening there. Okay, so those are all the elements that are there. It's just a matter of placing them into the right, right positioning section there. So I can shift you all these together. <coughs> put them behind everything. So then it's a matter of trying to do the, uh, the gradients. Again, so if you take a selection, for example, that has this, double click on this part is allowing you just to grab the um, color swatch that you can choose from to make that intensity of the color there. So just grab an orange there. <coughs> just take the stroke off. Oops. Make sure I get the right one there. And the same with this one. So you, again, you have the library open. You can toggle through to get some of the different uh, shading pieces that are there, for example. Make sure it's on the right uh, selection. So this has a little bit of a more intense thing. If you remember when you have the gradient, you can adjust it. Shift key to drag it down. Here I can reverse it so the color's up at the top. Double click on this part to get a different uh, selection piece for it. <coughs> Even drop this out. And again, you can adjust the colors as you go. So for example, here's the <coughs> same color yellow. You can click into this part to change the opacity, the coloring, the lighting of it. So it gives you a little bit more of an intense section. If it's the stroke that you don't want, just take it right off. Here's the uh, landscape part of it. Shift X so you can swap those across. Take that off. <coughs> and just kind of take a look. 
coloring there, take the gradient for that, and again you can reset it as it goes through it. Select this one, see if I have a gray collection of it here. Take that off. G for the gradient tool, so you can click and make it a vertical or click it from the other direction and it gives you that selection. So then just to uh, finish this off is where you're taking a rectangle and I'm just going on just the inside part of all of the artwork and I'll give it a brighter color so you can see everything there and I select it all or just go to the layer and click on the circle next to it. Everything is selected under object, just go to clipping, mask and make and it tapers everything right off to the side there. That'll give you a little bit of a, a look to it. So two ways to uh, place it together, forward and backward there for you.